Hey everybody, welcome back to Christmas Movie Club. And tonight's movie was all about small town Christmas and the community um, that you can find there. Let's just get right to the questions. What feelings did this movie evoke for you? Um, for me, this movie had so much um, connection. I don't know if that's really a feeling, but it inspired me to to try to create more connection with other people, I suppose, um, to build community where you have shared events and shared things. So, um, so I think that the big feeling there is connection um, and just, you know, an overall warmth of course, but, um, but connection would be the underlying, the underlying theme that I felt throughout the entire movie. Did the movie live up to your expectations? Um, I didn't really have any expectations for this movie. Um, I had not seen anything. I had not even seen the cover art for this movie. So I didn't have any expectations other than, you know, Hallmark Christmas. And I would say that it definitely did live up to my expectations. Actually, it exceeded them. Um, just overall, everything has exceeded this year. Is this movie overrated or underrated? Well, to know that, I'm going to have to look up the rating. So I do think it's underrated because there was a lot of heart, um, a lot of inspiration for me through this movie. So. I think that I think I would have liked to have seen it at least a full point higher, maybe even two points higher. Were there significant plot twists and turns? If so, what were they? I don't know that there was significant twists and turns. I think the the main twist to me was when um, uh, Jack tasks Dylan with actually designing a redesign for the hotel. Um, to me, that was a twist because um, as long as it stayed the way that it was, there was a lot less strife and um, if they were selling it. But at the point where it was going to be bulldozed and be something different, that creates a pressure um, friction because they're not going to want their family legacy for that to happen. I mean, they told us that, you know, it's been generations that they've run that hotel and it really is a part of the community. So I think that's the biggest um, twist. So, yes, there was a plot twist, but not, necess not necessarily significant. Maybe significant? Yeah, okay, we'll call it significant. Did you find the plot predictable? Yes. Even though I enjoyed the movie, it was predictable. Um, I knew that she would end up getting angry at somebody. I knew that he would end up, you know, finding a compromise or she would forgive or, you know, I, I, the plot was mostly predictable. The only part that was a surprise, I suppose, was all the town, all the people coming when they heard that it was going to close and Dylan finding the glamping company. So that was a surprise, but for the most part, yes, I would say that the plot was fairly predictable. Were there any plot twists that you hated? I don't think so. I mean, like we just covered, there weren't really a lot of twists. I don't think that I hated any. I did feel like I wanted to smack, uh, smack Paige for holding Dylan accountable. That she thought that he should have told her that he was looking to buy the inn. He had just met her. I mean, that was unrealistic to me. Her finding, you know, I guess finding out randomly and then holding him accountable is the one thing that I did. It made me a little crazy that that expectation was there of hers. Which character did you empathize with the most? I think I empathize the most with the dad and mom. Probably more so with the dad just because I felt like our personality types might be a little similar because like he made all those different eggnog flavors and then wanted people to taste them. And that seems like something that I would want to do. Like I would go overboard and then I would want other people to participate in whatever it is that I've done. And the fact that they're trying to make a change. They love the thing that they've created, but they want to move on to new experiences. And of course you can't do both at the same time. How did the characters change by the end of the movie? Both Dylan and Paige realized their need for community. 
um, Paige realized her need for um, expressing herself create, cre creatively, cre creatively, creatively, um, and that she wasn't getting that in her current job. You know, even her talking about, you know, of course that's the next step, and then I'll be this, and then I'll be that, and recognizing that she was just on a treadmill moving up the steps. And that she wanted to do something that felt more um, nourishing every day. And then Dylan realized that he needed um, roots, I think. That, you know, he needed to start staying in one place to be able to build that community. And that, um, that community, uh, that um, root system, I guess, um, that Noah would do well with having um, community and traditions surrounding him. And he didn't have to protect him anymore from the pain of um, his mom leaving when he was four. Then now it was time to actually make new memories to, um, to really delve into and not be running from memories. Are there any characters you'd like to deliver a lecture to? If so, who and what would you say? Okay, apparently I jumped ahead because I didn't know I was going to get this question today. Um, so I would definitely deliver a lecture to Paige because the way that she treated Dylan was unfair. To act like he owed her any kind of explanation or he should have told her. He was in business with her parents. Her parents had specifically asked him not to say anything. So I would tell Paige, listen Paige. He was talking to your parents. They asked him specifically not to tell you about the sale. So it is unfair to hold Dylan accountable for you not knowing about the sale. You can be upset with your parents, but it's not fair to be angry with Dylan. Were you satisfied with the outcome of the story? Yes, I was very satisfied with the outcome of the story. I was happy that in the end, um, Dylan's parents were going to, or not his parents, Dylan's company was going to purchase the, the inn so that Paige's parents could go and do, you know, what they, go on their adventure. And then, but that they were involving Paige. Paige was going to be part of the process. You kind of, you definitely get the feeling that Paige and Dylan are headed for a long-term relationship. They've kind of got a, a family in the works there. Now that is one concern that they're going to be working together. What if they were to break up? But by her being part of the company at that point, she should not be, you know, abandoning Noah again. So, um, so even if they were just friends, that's probably okay too. So the real outcome was for the longevity of the inn, for Paige finding a, um, finding a p place for her to flourish and for Dylan to take on a new place to develop some roots. So I would say yes, I was very, very happy with the, the ending. And um, I really liked Noah saying, you're such a buffoon, you know, when, um, about them leaving. So um, I liked that Noah was the one that kind of talked to Dylan and said, no, we need, you know, you should be turning around. So I, I enjoyed that part as well. If you could change one thing about the movie, what would it be? I think that I would have used the cook and the, um, I actually don't know what the other lady's job was, um, but the two people that worked there at the inn, if there could have been more about them and they could have been more in the story because I really, really liked their interactions. I especially liked the chef and his um, personality. So I wish there would have been more of them in the movie. Um, and that's probably really the only thing that, that I would really change. Would you like to rewatch it? Yes, I would rewatch this movie. I don't think that it's going to be on my favorites list that, you know, whenever I see it, I'll turn it on. Although, there were several parts that I really liked about it. And, um, but I would definitely rewatch it with other people, especially that hadn't seen it. Or if it's on and I'm, um, you know. I probably wouldn't give it my undivided attention again, but yes, I would rewatch it. And now for some things that um, 
that I really want to highlight that happened in the movie that I feel like really do deserve to be noticed and talked about. Um, I really, really loved Noah and Dylan's relationship. And when they were negotiating at the beginning about doing the detour, that was hilarious and set up a wonderful way to see their relationship and how they talk to each other. Dylan doesn't just give commands on high and say, this is what we're doing. He involves Noah in the, in the discussion about how to make it work for both of them. So I really, really appreciated that. I liked that when Noah asked about finding the, I, um, the tree, was this the perfect tree? That instead of just, you know, using her, her list of criteria, Paige actually used a Christmas ornament to show why her criteria was in place and what the purpose was. So it wasn't just some random list of things that she'd come up with that made the perfect tree. She had a reason for it. And um, the fact that the one Noah picked worked was fantastic. But it was really, um, I liked that she explained the reason behind her, behind, behind those guidelines. And then Noah's word of the day coming up throughout the movie was a fantastic addition and really was in line with Noah's personality and who he was. So the real star was Noah. I think that it took a very special actor to play this role and to bring this, bring this character to life in this way. And so I think that um, this young man should be applauded for the role that he did in this movie, for sure. Now, there were several things about this movie that inspired me. Um, I would love to create community around something like um, a card-a-thon or organizing Christmas movies around, a th or, I mean, not movies, Christmas uh, parties around a theme. I really liked the, the Christmas PJ, P, P, J, that's right, right? The Christmas pajama party sounded really fun. Um, I just, um, and I especially love the idea of Coyote Creek and a community like that, that um, where they have even, they have a family mascot and they have traditions that they do together as a community. Um, I would love to live in a place like that, that supported each other and really knew the value of community and neighbors and extended family, we'll say. And I'm really surprised that I only had one quote to share from this movie. It's the cook. Let, let's hear him say it. Where are we on the whole knocking some Christmas sense into your parents thing? This was a really great movie, and I can't wait to see how it compares to the other two movies of week two when we do our showdown. So, until next time, Merry Christmas! All right, now I have to do my thumbnail. I'm just gonna do her today because she's looking at the camera. So let's see, which side of her face is tilted in? Her left side is tilted. Um, so, she's got a very serious look too. What do you think, was that it? Um, let's see, and he, I guess I'll do him too. Maybe, maybe I'll put both in there. And he's the right side in. My head feels all wonky. Let's see. Right side in. All right, we'll see what thumbnail comes out of that one.